want you to keep in mind all the mercy that God has had on us. The revelation of God. The mercy of God has been given. Before by Him, all things. This is Paul talking in the blood. Before by Him, all things created. All things that work. Before by Him were all things created. That are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, principalities or powers. All things are created by Him and for Him. And then we go to 1 Peter 3, 18, 19, and 20. For Christ had what suffered for sin, the just or the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, quickened by the Spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometimes were disobedient, when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah while the ark was prepared, wherein few, that is, Eight souls were saved by water. And 2 Peter 3 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men would count slackness. But is long suffering to us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And Talk about Revelation chapter 7, verse 9 to 14. After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. The crowd with a loud voice said, Salvation to our Lord which stands before the throne. And upon the Lamb. And all the angels stood around about the throne, and about the elders, and the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces to worship God, saying, Amen, blessing, glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might be unto God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying to me, What are these which are made in white robes, and whence came they? And I said to him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of the great tribulation, and have washed the roads, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. <clears throat> this is where, if I had to put a title of this, it would be called God's never ending love. He loved these people and wanted them to see them, none of them perish, but have everlasting life. And he said all these plagues, not to these people, but for these people, uh, that they might repent and come to him and be saved. And uh, there's this great book that's going to come, that come out of the tribulation that he has, when he sent those plagues, uh, when he, every time you hear that, and they blasphemed God because of the plagues and repented not. As a much to the Father, they didn't repent God, but some would. And there are piles of people that did repent and come out of the tribulation. Oh, uh, God loves us and our God they love. It's hard for us to understand. We can't understand. He loves us more than we love ourselves. If somebody starts a rumor on me that I've done something and I know that I ain't, I'm going to get offended by it. Jesus, when they started with the rumors on him, he convicted him and sent him to the cross. He says, Father, forgive me. How can we do that? We can't do that to save our lives. And Revelation 14, 1 and 5. 1 to 5. It says, and I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Sinai, 
with him 144,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads, and heard a voice from heaven, as the father of many waters, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. They sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the full deeds. The elders and no man can learn that song but the 144,000. But the 144 and 4,000, 140 and 4,000, which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled by women, for they are virgins. These are they which followed the land with the survivor he goeth. These are redeemed from among men being the first fruits of the God and of the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no God, for they are without fault for the throne of God. Uh, with that verse that he had back there, uh, that, let me uh, do 2 Peter 3, 9. Uh, first so Christ had suffered, had once suffered for sins, the just and the unjust, might, uh, he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, quickened in the spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. Which sometimes are disobedient, and once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, by the ark was prepared, where a few, that is, eight souls were saved by one. Okay, hey, I have no problem with him preaching to Noah. There's something that says that he can preach to Noah in his day, and he did. That's not his day. But he also preached to how the whole people I thought. To me, he preached to these. People over here that we just talked about the 144,000. He's got to make. They won't just be disciples. They will be apostles. An apostle would exactly see him face to face. And there's people that are going to be seeing him face to face. He's got to make apostles out of these people. It's got their work cut out for them to try to reach all these people out there and get them to repent and to turn from their ways. And uh, when we say, when I say that he preached to all this, he also preached to, or I think my, he showed it to me, the Lord showed it to me. Uh, Anybody bothered? They got faster than him. 
And uh, he just loves us more than we can possibly even think how much he loves. And uh, Daniel 4 37, talk about Nebuchadnezzar, which until least had been the most powerful man on the face of the earth. Uh, he did everything that he wanted to do. Until God uh, brought him to his knees and his hands and put him out there like a cow or something, grazing for grass. He stayed out there for seven years, grazing. And uh, God restored his mind to him. And look at me what Daniel said in 437. Need of a Roman army, or the wrong, the Romans 
was probably the only country in the world that ever had crucifixion as a means of capital punishment. Uh, if not, they were the only ones in Jesus' time that could walk in that society. So, who else needs Roman army? Me and you. Why do we need it? Without Jesus being crucified, there's no redemption for us. We're lost. So we need that just as bad as Jesus did this. These are the plagues. The people knew that they were from God. The blasphemy dropped the plagues of repenting all. God loved the people enough to try all that he could to get them to repent and be saved, as Peter told us in 2 Peter 3 9. So he didn't do these plagues to the people. He did these plagues for the people. And uh, the ones that <coughs> deserved it, they got, they got the plague. The others did the proof. Uh, and they were the ones that the 144,000, or ones that we talked about, where there were millions of them out there, they're the ones that repented and accept the God. Back to where we get, well, let me go. Fall of Rome. Rome fell in one hour. Three of the mountains that Rome was built on fell in the sea. The islands disappeared. Oh, uh, Battle of Armageddon. Satan had enough power to fool enough people to fight against God's people that came from all over the world to fight God's people. That when, when Jesus, when, uh, when, uh, to fight, they came from all over the world. That's Americans and everybody else. Uh, when you think of Rome, You think of uh, Israel, they got 319 people per square mile. That's a half a mile here and a half a mile there, and a half a mile there and a half a mile there. They got 319 people in that little square. Uh, and as crowded as it can be. And we're going to call some people back in uh, chapter. Uh, 18 verse 3 I think it was when God calls them people back and he will there will be people we've got six rough problems six million Jews in our country and they're all over the world and so when he calls them back they won't be a place to stand on if Israel is where it is today He's talking about when he calls them back, they're going to be in the promised land. He promised them way back when. He promised them that land, he's going to fulfill his promises. And so when they go there, uh, they're going to be people from all over the world that's going to raise up and raise cattle about them getting there, living in Syria. Trying to, and all these other countries, and create problems for them. Look how we just had a president that went to walk out of problems with Israel building a fence between them and Palestine, and for putting security gates on between them and Palestine. They were just just raised all kind of cane. A lot of American people will raise all kind of cane also for that. And he wouldn't let Palestine build close to that fence where they could turn them under and come over there and kill the Israelites again. And uh, he, uh, when they built on the go, uh, on the west bank, he built houses for people. Well, this will build houses for their people. I mean, he got to put them somewhere. We caught the worst black you ever seen for a building on the west bank over in Palestine. 
And so it's just, uh, he loves us more than, more than we can believe. But the battle of Armageddon, uh, Jesus and his army comes out of one of the white horses. Uh, Jesus probably called the beast and the antichrist, the false prophet. Cast them in the lake of fire. Then turned to the sacred followers with his two-edged sword. Killed enough people. The blood ran to the horse of For 1,600 furlongs, or 180 miles, or from the farm line to between Macon and Forsyth up there. And from the I-75 to the East Coast. That's over, that's 600 furlongs, 180 miles. That's 32,800 out of 900, 800 square miles. That's more than four times as big as Israel. So when he called them people back, they will be sitting in there. So all the people have been there with Israel about the fence. What do you think they're going to be raising cannon about them going in there and taking over? But that's their life. He's promised it to it. And uh, God loves us enough to go ahead to, to save as many as He can. And chapter 16, verse uh, 7, I don't remember. Chapter 16, anyway, people say that there was a uh, great thunder and voice of heaven. And he said, it is done. And when he said, it is done, it's over. There's no more repentance. He's getting ready for the dark again. So, uh, that's pretty much all I have. Any of y'all got any questions or that? But, uh, that's pretty much it. I appreciate your time. Did you just miss yeah. Father, again, we just want to come to you thanking you for your love and your mercy and your grace, Father. Lord, we do thank you for your love, as Mr. Carroll has told us this morning. Father, we don't understand it, Father, but we accept it. We trust in it, Father. And Lord God, we just thank you for the Word of God, for what it means to us, for how it helps us each and every day, Father. And Lord God, I do pray that we would walk closer with you, Lord, each and every day, Father. Lord, help us. Lord God, forgive us where we fail you. Forgive us for our you see us. For we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Anybody want to do it next time? We're good. We're good.